No better way to see how Guilford County schools are falling apart than see it for yourself. That's the idea behind a tour of schools by some county commissioners. They're visiting one school each week to see the issues. WFMY News 2's Jenna Krasina was there when they toured an elementary school in High Point today. Chad, building conditions at Northwood Elementary are evident in just about every hallway. Leaks in the roof and cracked floors are just to name a few. The principal hopes changes are coming. Honestly, the buildings are failing us. The roof clay. Like burst in a minute. Northwood Elementary School in High Point has stood since 1956. School leaders say it's long overdue for a serious facelift. Sad note is we just built a new animal shelter and right now we have our animals in better uh, conditions uh, than we have our children. Guilford County Commissioner Chair Skip Alston saw the issues during a tour. He says there are decades of problems that need to be taken care of now. Bathrooms are, of course, horrible. Uh, the ceilings and that type of thing, no heat in some of the classroom. And the gym, that they call a gym, uh, it's embarrassing. Northwood is on the list of schools to rebuild. Principal Susan Steen welcomes the fresh start. I liken it to business. No successful business has their employees working in the conditions that we're asking teachers to work in. And nobody wants to put our most precious possessions, our children, in these conditions. Alston found similar issues when he toured Page High School in Greensboro a few weeks ago. We still are asking our students to perform under these circumstances, uh, and that's something that really bothers me. Vice Chair Calvina Foster also walked the halls. She says there were several problems that caught her eye. What shocked me the most are the cracks in the floors. Number one, I wouldn't want my granddaughter in learning or attending schools in some of these conditions. Alston says he's hopeful a bond referendum on the spring ballot passes because these problems aren't going away. Voters approve the bond next spring. All 126 schools in the district will see impacts.